Hello beautiful people, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to upload our images to the database. I know you guys have been waiting for this. And I've been seeing your comments, you've been asking me for more and more videos. But unfortunately, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't have the time to post that often. But every time when I get a bit of time, I do this for you guys. So today we're going to learn how to upload images to our Firebase database and later, later on we're going to retrieve those images to our app but to the user side. Okay, perfect. Second point, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel because the goal for this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to support me in that, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. Third point, if you like what's happening in the channel, if you'd like to support me in a way, if you like my content, uh, please you can support the channel using my PayPal link in the description below. You can do any donation, a dollar, two, five, ten, whatever you feel. Please uh, do that if you don't mind. Well, with all that apart, let's go back to the code. Uh, this is where we left off on our last video and the issue here I was trying to implement our drop-down menu and I was having some issues so we just had this done but today I decided to go a different way because I mean I was basically struggling to make that work properly so uh, we will try to find a way around this as a programmer that's what you do and now uh, I I'm thinking of using and this is very important because uh, when we go to implement our search functionality we're going to use the flutter type head the user will just type or the admin will type the category and we'll do the autocomplete I think that this may work as well so to make this thing work you just go Google flutter type head type ahead sorry type ahead and then uh, first of all, of course, you'll have to come here and copy this. Android Studio, you go to PubSpec file. And uh, let's make sure I don't have this. Okay, I don't. Okay. Packages get. Mm, perfect while this is processing you just go to the example and we are going to add this you just go down here go down here and copy this so we'll copy the example they provide us and we will edit this to work in our ways perfect uh, let's go to the add product section for file and uh, what are we going to do here is first of all we'll put this on full screen and um, we have the images here Okay, okay. And then after the images of entry product name, uh, maximum number of characters, we have this here. And here on our list view builder, we are using categories dot length. We will erase all of this. And we will paste this you will get a lot of errors of course because you didn't import just click here we will hey wait a second okay no problem it's not giving us the chance to import so let's just come here hit installing and how we're going to import this we we'll import it like that you copy and go back to android studio and paste this in 
and that will solve some problems. So here we have type ahead field the uh, perfect. Then we have text field configuration. Mm -hmm. Autofocus true. We don't want this to autofocus, so put false. Autofocus basically means as soon as this, as soon as we open this particular screen, uh, this input field is going to be active, and we don't want that. Mm, we don't want outline as well. Not now. And here on our icons, we can just put icon. Then category for example. Okay. So just to delete this. Let's create this method in here. That's going to get our suggestions. And how can we do that? We can go to DB brand category. Okay, category. And we create a method called get suggestions. And it's going to take a string. Let's go to category. And it's going to return a list. Okay, here let's create a method that's going to create our suggestions. And we are going to use this when we implement the search functionality, so you better pay some attention to this uh, list. And we want list of strings. You want list of strings? No, we don't want list of strings. But okay, we will define. Oh. Even right now. Uh, okay, future um, get suggestion. Oops, oops, oops. String suggestion. And in here we have firebase mm -hmm. we don't want this because we are going to use real time database here oh no this is not in real time database okay Firebase dot collection uh, ref dot where what's the field that we want? We want category Let's see how our database is structured is going to make our life easier. Yes, yes, open Firebase. 